Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Young in Instructional Technology at Oklahoma Baptist and today I want to show you how to connect to a wireless Dell projector. These projectors are available at the OBU Grad School and at the uh, uh, main campus in Shawnee in uh, many of the classrooms and uh, there's a few steps you have to go through in order to connect your laptop to, uh, to show the video on your screen onto the projector. So let's go through that now. Okay, I am in a classroom that has a wireless projector and I've got the uh, remote in my hand and uh, it's the Dell remote and I'm gonna press the source button. I'm gonna point it towards the projector, press source, and I'm gonna use the arrow keys at the top of the remote to navigate uh, down to the wireless uh, USB section and then use the right arrow key to expand that and then hit the check mark, check mark or the check button in the middle of the remote and that'll uh, switch me over to the screen you see now, uh, the quick guide. So the nice thing about this is if you forget how to connect or you need to connect to a, a new projector you've never connected to before, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So let's start with this uh, number one. It, it reminds you you have to connect wirelessly to the network so you can't just be plugged in you have to actually be connected wirelessly um, to to the uh, campus network um, then you have to open a web browser and enter the IP address below in the browser's address bar so down in the bottom right hand corner you see an IP address it's uh, in this case and this will be different for uh, every projector uh, in, in each room the one that we see right now is 10.1.5.169. So you type that into the uh, address bar of your browser and then navigate to that site and you'll see the screen uh, that you see here. Uh, your uh, projector model number may be different from what you see here, but uh, this tutorial should cover all of those different models. Okay, so next step, uh, uh, we click on download. You actually have to download and install a program on your laptop in order to make uh, this work. And there are um, Windows version and a Mac version. So we'll click the download button for the appropriate version and save that file. And wherever you save it, remember, uh, save it somewhere that you can uh, find it easily, maybe your desktop, and uh, uh, click save and remember where that software is and when it's done downloading double click on it again and uh, and go ahead and uh, follow the instructions to install it and once that's uh, done you should have an icon on your desktop that looks like this the Dell mine says Dell 4610X yours may be slightly different but as soon as you uh, see that you're ready to go you're ready to connect to your wireless projectors so double click on that icon and you should get this uh, searching um, screen that you see here and you'll have to put in an IP address and uh, notice it's in numbers and each of those numbers it could be anywhere from one to three digits um, so if this is that first number is a three digit number you have, you'd have to type in you know three digits and then it goes to the next uh, section of that IP address um, if you uh, if it's just a single digit number you would type in that number and then use your mouse to go to the next section of that IP address so um, look at in the bottom left hand corner of your wireless projector screen you'll see the IP address put that in there and there's also a login code and this will change um, every time you connect to the projector you'll have a different login code this is a little bit of security uh, for these projectors. So you actually have to have the uh, login code. Yours will be different from what you see me typing in right now. Also put a name in here. This name is not, uh, it, the only thing it does is it identifies your laptop uh, projected image. So you can actually connect up to four uh, laptops at the same time and show them all on one screen if you want to. Uh, to have you know multiple inputs to the projector and it differentiates each uh, laptop by that name so uh, you always know who's connected and uh, 
so that name is uh, important just so you know how to identify people it's it's an arbitrary text you can put anything you want in there but make sure you're able to uh, identify each other's uh, uh, laptops that way okay so we click OK and a little bit of flashies on the screen you may your screen ch may change resolutions it may give you some messages but the important thing is you should get this uh, little window this this Dell uh, uh, wireless projector window and it allows you to control it's like a, a administrative control uh, application and if I so it's as simple as me clicking the play button here in the middle in order to make my screen show up on the projector so if I click on that uh, the window uh, the, the little button becomes green and if I look on my projector I see that uh, my screen is mirrored on that screen now now I could uh, choose uh, one of these four uh, corners of the play button and then I, that will show my window in the upper left hand corner if I choose the one. It will show it if I click the four button it shows my window in the bottom uh, right hand. So if we have multiple people connecting up to four you can, you can all connect on the same projector and it shows in that quadrant of the screen. And uh, if you want to take over again, you click on the play again, and it, it'll show only your screen uh, on the projector. In order to stop, you click the stop button, of course. Pause will let you pause. And uh, that's the basics of connecting to a wireless projector.